So we can, with synthetic skincare, like ingredients of par like uh, parabens are problematic on an infinitesimal scale of 0.01%. When paraben is in a product, it's in it at that amount, that 0.01%. Yet it shows up in our tissue, all disease, uh, all disease breast tissue that's tested, all of it has paraben in it. So we can see how each particle matters. Each drop should contain boundless, bioactive, botanical beauty. Something like an essential oil or a drop of sea buckthorn contains hundreds of bioactive ingredients, the story we don't even fully know yet. And so when nature provides such exquisite and effective elements to graciously care for our skin, we must see the use of synthetics and petroleum-derived ingredients as the definition of insanity. We want to really alter how we're thinking about caring for our skin and beauty, and we want to receive sunbeams as serum. We want to welcome water's refreshing ways. We want to allow the air to tousle our hair, and we want to engage with the earth to feel our self-worth. These are all keys to the beauty of immunity. Along with some practices, that, some of the things we have up here, and one key thing, this is, and this is what you can do now that you're not washing your face with soap, <laughs> is we want to oil our skin. We want to cleanse our skin with oil. Healing and repairing our skin's natural seal starts with oiling the top layer to regenerate our hydrolipid barrier. We need to stop the spin cycle of surfactants and start washing with oil, which is really ancient and revolutionary. It may seem strange, or that you think washing your face with oil will make your skin oily, um, but it really just isn't the case when fresh, authentic, fresh-pressed oils like jojoba are used. Uh, indeed, using like rancid almond or petroleum-based oils would leave your skin feeling greasy. But the, uh, the nature of jojoba has such an affinity to our skin and sebum that it's really able to effectively lubricate and unclog pores as it's cleansing the skin and lifting up dirt. So cleansing with oil is key, and it's so easy. That's it. <laughs> you just... Wet a cloth, squirt on oil, wipe the face, and then you can end with a drop of oil. Same can be the same oil, uh, or you can get into some more fancy or concentrated serums. And the great thing, too, is like you can just keep that one bottle, do your whole body, moisturize, washed. Um, and then the sunshine vitamin. Sunbathing is actually essential for our vitality. <laughs> Yay. Yay for the sun. <laughs> uh, yeah, our skin was actually designed to be exposed to sunlight. Yet we deny these warm wavelengths of creation that our skin, blood, and hormones need for cosmic pollination. Without sunbeams stimulating our skin, we drain our innate immunity, and we dry out our skin from within. Doctors of previous decades prescribed sunlight to heal injuries, 
strengthen weak skin and prevent a variety of infections like eczema, psoriasis, acne, dermatitis, tuberculosis. That was a huge discovery in the 20s, 1920s. So it used to be prescribed, it used to be seen as something that we needed, yet currently we reject the sun's sustaining rays as we inject our faces with fillers, apply caustic chemicals to acne, and spray on tans with dihydroxyacetone. So we definitely don't want to be getting like repeated sunburns. But the body can actually deal with the sunburn a lot easier than it can deal with, like, with the DNA pr processing sunscreen. But we don't want to get repeated sunburns. But actually, sun-damaged skin begins from within. So like a depleted microbiome, a diet of rancid oils and processed food, washing repeatedly with surfactants, exacerbating with chemical creams, all baked in with sunscreen. It's uh, not a re that's kind of a recipe for melasma and age spots. So um, when we include sunshine as part of our hygiene, it's actually one of the deepest ways to be clean. Sunlit skin nourishes our microbiome, purifies our blood, and it boosts our immunity by producing very essential antimicrobial peptides. And with our skin designed with thousands of vitamin D receptors ready to receive these replenishing rays, we can trust this ancient relationship of our sun and skin. We also want to um, think about digestion as digestion is a direct door to every pore, and healing and sealing the guts is foundational to skincare.